Hey Cancer, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your mid-month, February on to mid-month March reading for love and career. Thank you so much for being here and your patience with me. I've not been able to actually do any tarot for the last two weeks because I've just been bouncing from one city to the next. So this is my first big breath and uh, I appreciate you being here. I'm stoked to be here. We're gonna be getting insight first on career and then we'll move on to love. These cards have been pre-shuffled with you in mind. Of course, not every reading is for everybody, so please bear that in mind and only take it if it resonates. So Cancers for career. We got two out, three out. All right, one flew out on the floor, floor. If you'd like for me to pray for you, to the cards upright, but a lot of them flew out upside down. If you'd like for me to pray for you, send you my good energy, I encourage you just to say hi somehow that you're comfortable with in the comment section um, with an emoji or whatever, and that allows me to focus on something that represents you. So, And I encourage everybody else to do that for each other. This is a safe place for everybody. Um, all right, so something's going on at work, you guys. What the heck is going on at work, you guys? There is one card that is upright in this reading, and I'm gonna focus on that one card because I know the moment I said, what the heck is going on? For those of you who this reading is for, you already know I'm preaching to the choir. You're like nodding your head at the, at the camera or excuse me, at the, at the screen. We have upright, the four of wands. This is about stability. I wouldn't be surprised if you get the seven of wands out. So we have, stability is so huge for cancers. Like home is so huge for cancers. You know, whatever happens in the day can happen and you have that, you know, you can move with it and you've got that intuition and the emotional intelligence to work with your surroundings. And it's so important that you can go home and you've got a safe, um, peaceful environment that uh, you can reside in. and you know, re-energize in. Now the rest of your reading is about, um, it's kind of like chafing and maybe some, losing some trust in your surroundings and the choices you are left with, the options you have to, ha that you are um, dealing with um, with work. There could be a, a sense of like, not, uh, not knowing enough, needing to research more. There could be a chafing between coworkers, um, people disagreeing in collaboration. Need I go on? Do I want to? Do you want to hear it? No, like, you get the picture, right? So I'd like to know what can, I'd like to focus on this four of wands with your reading and what can we do to make all these cards feel peaceful and in balance and upright, right? Like at work. So let's focus on that for our cancers and work. Nice. We have whew, going in. You already know what you need to know. That lantern represents your, not only your intuition, but that inner wisdom that is built on the past, your past experiences. What do you really know? You're not, you're not, you weren't born yesterday, right? Um, and making a decision. Now facing, this is, sorry for the glare, you guys. The two of swords talks about a decision that we have to face um, where maybe there's been putting it off. Maybe there's been a little confusion there. You're not quite sure w which choice to make, but this is the cards calling you out saying, no, the hermit, you can grow quiet. You can retreat. Don't let people pull you out of that hermit. Go in because that's where you're going to find your answer. And this is attached to your answer. Hard work. What have you put your time and effort into? So this energy all came out upright the way we want to see it, right? But it's to the point. It's like go into your crabby shell. Go into your crabby shell if you need to, boo. And that's where you're going to find your answers. And for it feels really strong like this is connected to home for a lot of you guys. And that's where a crab's home really is. It's not quite in the outside world. You know, it's like, yeah, they go and they're exposed and they're, they're, they're home, their shell is in the outside world, but they've got that hard surface, that protectant surface. So use it, use that shell um, to go and retreat in and listen. And like, even there might be some reflecting on past experiences. That's where the wisdom can lie. Um, and combine that with your intuition and this hard work is key. So let's talk about that a little bit. Hard work, what do we need to know? 
um, wondering if like the work you put into something is going to lead to um, fruit basically it's going to this harvest that you've you've spent so hard planting and sowing these seeds is it going to lead to reaping any rewards and this is all money and um, and work related all the pinnacles is about stability so you want to grow your stability you want to grow your four of wands you want to have something to celebrate over and you want that peaceful happy independence like you're not you're not reliant dependent on anybody else you can rely on yourself it's connected to this withholding saving being a scrooge about it be a hermit, be a Scrooge, be discerning, pull yourself into your shell. It's okay, you guys. You don't have to listen to everybody else. I mean, including me. Follow your intuition. You know best, but that shell is there to protect you. And that shell is there for shelter. It's there for a reason. It's your superpower. Because it's quiet in there. You can hear your own thoughts. You can reflect on your own experiences. You're gonna be saving. It's, 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 this is encouraging you to see where, where is energy escaping from you? And money is another measurement of energy. So is chatter, chitter, chatter, having to respond to texts and emails and social media and having to be a therapist for your friends and family. All that stuff is just little, little ways that our energy escapes us. And sometimes it gives back to us. In this case, you need all of that for yourself. So you can be selfish because this is where it's leading the Nine of Pentacles. You can even look this up. It's a beautiful card. This is just as it looks. She's surrounded by her money. She's surrounded by her security. She's. This is the most independent card in the deck. Male, female, anybody in between doesn't matter. And there's this bird, this like hawk that is, I got his little hawk suit, his little cap on, and she's um, holding him on her wrist. And it's like they're speaking to each other. You know, it's you have people out there that will support you. You have um, this superpower of your shell to gain insight. You you can give yourself that own insight. You know that, and it's somehow connected to reflecting on past experiences. But the Nine of Pentacles can be an investment card, moving forward, making investments, investing in yourself, um, and it's ultimately just independence. So that looks really good, you guys. I'm going to um, gather these up. We're going to get into your love reading. It feels like, wow, I just like lost sense of time while talking to you about that. Really cool reading. All right, love for Cancers, mid-February into mid-March. For Cancers. First card out, we have two of pentacles. We have the star card. Oh, I see where this is going. Wow. We've got the queen of pentacles, the page of pentacles, one more. Oh, two more apparently. Oh my gosh, who are all these people? Are you online dating? <laughs> who are all these people you have? The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords. And the first card out was this wishy-washy, like indecisive, confused. Like, are you trying to choose between people, you guys? What is going on? But either way, it's really positive. It's like this really beautiful, this is a result. You call this in, boo. You call this in. This is the star card. This is like being seen big time. It's like a celebrity card, but it's also, um, like it's a feeling of being watched for sure. Like people might be checking out your social media, you know, you're putting yourself out there, but also the star card is this beautiful relief after the storm. It's, it's kind of your wishes are coming true. Your prayers have been listened to and boy, oh boy, things are happening here. I need to get a little bit more information on the page of pentacles here before I can talk. Oh my God. And you got the last queen. <laughs> All right, well, somebody here, um, somebody gets the out. Somebody gets the outs. Um, <laughs> that could be you. This is water energy. You are a Cancer, boo. So we've got the Queen of Cups that comes out with the Eight of Cups, taking a hike, leaving something they spent a lot of time working on, and just like taking um, a faith, 
um, that they're going to to find greener pastures elsewhere okay um, the page of Pentacles I need more clarity on that please bear with me okay so there is an element to these other people and your judgment uh, through this month into March has a lot to do with reciprocity. It has a lot to do with getting what you give out, okay? And um, you are going to, I think that when you are taking in all factors, when you're in conversation, all of that, your focus is going to be on how generous are you, how giving are you, how fair are you? Um, yeah, that's just what that's telling me. So let's get a little bit of an idea of each one of these people, because isn't that fun? So the, the Queen of Pentacles could be an earth sign, but there's somebody who's very nurturing, responsible. They usually make good money. Um, they like to be employed. They can be good with their money. They're stable. So let's find out about each one of these. This person is ending a brand new, or excuse me, yeah, same thing. They're ending an exhausting phase in their life. You know, in love, this can be a divorce. This can be um, uh, finishing up a project or a move that took their time. It felt ob obligatory. It was kind of exhausting, but they're finishing it up. And they're also having all these, I have a feeling that they're getting these realizations, you know, like maybe they're, they're, discovering something new about themselves or their surroundings like they're getting they're in this place of being willing to receive new ideas and to re to be influenced which is saying something also for an earth sign because sometimes earth signs can can get very um like almost too stable and each sign has got their balanced version and their imbalanced version so this is actually a really cool and healthy place for um a uh, queen of pentacles now for our our queen of swords this can be air signs but regardless even if it's not this is somebody who comes from up here they're sharp-witted they they're good with their boundaries um they can be very sometimes they can be a little um really honest you know uh they are they can be very communicative. This is, you know, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, and they know what they want, but they are they live in their heads quite a bit. So their their minds can change. What about this person? Wow. So this person it's taken more strength than they probably show to believe in love. You got the strength card out with the page of cups. They want to believe in love. They want to believe in infatuation and true love and the magic behind that, the enchantment behind that. They really want to. And like I said, they can change their mind. They have the power to change their mind, just simply up here. And so, but it is taking strength to do so. And they probably don't always show that on the surface. So that's what Tarot is telling me to tell you. Now, with the Queen of Wands, this is somebody who could be a fire sign. Or they could just be really confident. They like really nice things. They don't mind walking into a room and having people notice them. Even if they're introvert, they like to, they have a little bit of shine um, to them. They run on their instincts and their convictions with those instincts. They can be quite bold and charismatic. We have out the Two of Wands. What else with this Queen of Wands? Okay. I'm weird. <laughs> I gotta take it. Okay, so this person's been through some crap. Like, they've been through um, maybe being shut out. They're getting victory. They're like having... A, a, they're in a good place. They're getting into a really good place, but they, they, we've all been through this, but this is very strong. 
when you've been rejected and you finally decide to reject them back and you, you know, head for, you know, open territory and you're looking open waters, basically, they're like, they're willing to look at what are all the possibilities? What, what does the world hold for you? So they're in this good place, but they also know what it feels like to get breadcrumbed. Um, earlier when I said, you're going to be talking to these people and considering, uh, are they fair? Are they generous? Are they reciprocal? This person knows what it feels like to be breadcrumbed. They know what it feels like not to have their love come back to them. And they could even know what it feels like to have, sorry, there's like a bus down there making crazy noises. They know what it feels like to have people saying crap behind your back or the worry that people are, um, the, the feeling of things falling apart maybe. And so having to just really pull themselves up by their back bootstraps and um, be their own biggest fan. So, um, and that that's very confidence building eventually, but they went through the fire as well. So if you wanted the background on some of these people, then hopefully that is helpful. I will say though, you're in kind of a fun position. You did call this in boo, all this attention. And um, I will get one more card just as advice for my cancers. What do cancers know about fresh deck? Let's get all new cards. What do they need to know about love? Moving forward, what's gonna be helpful for them? And of course, only take it if it resonates. You make your own choices. You have free will. That being said, what is going to be helpful for cancers? Mid-Feb to mid-March, we have one card, and that is Seven of Wands. Stand by your convictions. Trust yourself. So even if you've got some little doubts creeping in, which is very natural, especially with multiple people surrounding you, Stand by your conviction, convictions. And this is a very successful card of being able to fight off this, those petty doubts and stuff. All right, you guys. I'm sending you off with love and light. Say hi in the comment section if you'd like you, me to send you my prayers. And um, please like and subscribe. I don't know why I can't talk. Just going with it. <laughs> See you soon for your bonus reading.